Yo, it's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you dig? Hey, man, we got an exclusive for you, man. Definitely an exclusive. Shout out Trife Gangster, man. R.P. Banker, his brother, lost his life at the tragic event that took place at Irving Plaza almost seven years ago, come May 25th. So um, y'all put them R.P.'s in the comments for us. Um, definitely not a reflection of hip-hop. We definitely don't want things like that to take place in hip-hop because then people will shy away from it. So keep that in mind, man. Let's stop the violence. But when it come down to WAC 100 and Mayno, now WAC 100 and Mayno got into it recently over this whole Trey Ave chain situation. Like Mayno made a video. He spoke on um, Troy Ave Chain, said he had the chain almost seven years. You know, he just revealed that he had the chain. And since then, people went put out, you know, pictures of, you know, Mayno wearing the chain. So I asked Troy, I asked um, Trife Gangsta about Mayno wearing the chain. Do he think that was the chain? As well as, like, them mentioning his name. Because a lot of people were saying I didn't have it right. So I asked them, like, far as the court goes, did Troy Ave bring up Mayno, May, Mayno name inside of that court room? And um, he break, broke it down for us. You know, also, he spoke on having a phone call with Mayno the other day. You know, he, he said he'll touch on it. So y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know what y'all think. It's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Share this on Facebook and Twitter. Also, if you're new to the channel and you, you ain't been getting your notifications, unsubscribe, subscribe again, and hit that notification bell on all. Gang. Hey, Trey, I've been wanting to ask you this question, right? Because, like, when WAC 100, he had went on um, on Clubhouse and he was speaking on the Troy Ave situation, right? And he had said that Troy Ave was a rat. And then, like, I don't know if it was when you hollered at him on Clubhouse or it was on uh, Queen Wolf from the Facto show. But his whole tune changed, bro. And now we here today where he said he back into it with Mayno. We was just playing audio that he had got into it with Mayno probably like six years ago. How you feel about this whole situation, bro? You think that Mayno should have never inserted his stuff? Or Wax should have never inserted his stuff? I know somebody should have never inserted their stuff. And the Max should have never inserted himself. Oh, yeah, that's a fact. I, I forgot to mention him. I did say that earlier. I mean, you know, do you know what Wax do? He been talk about topics and stuff from New York City. Uh, I don't think he changed it off enough. And I said, I just, I didn't really speak. Well, I haven't spoken on Av's testimony on how I feel about it in no shape, form, or fashion. So it couldn't have been off of something I said. But um, I spoke about the facts of the case in regards to some of the details in the sentencing on the conviction. I don't know if that would have changed uh, anything he had to say. But I think the chain conversation is really when uh him and Mano really got into the, the issue because he spoke on that chain and that and and posted Mano comment that Mano posted shortly after the shooting at Urban Plaza that Mano responded to that and I seen that's where it really took off at. That's from my um understanding. No, I think you yeah, you're right. It was the chain situation for sure. And like with Mayno, you know, it's been a lot of people talking about Mayno when it comes to him putting up that chain. Like me personally, I think he possibly could have addressed Troy Ave, but without the whole chain scenario. Like, but how you feel about it? You know what I'm saying? Like, him being one of your peers. It's a lot there, bro. I'm still taking that in because that's spooky, man. That's that's bad, bad, bad work, man. And, I ain't heard an explanation that could justify that to me as of yet, and I don't think I could hear one. You know, the energy, um, you know, I, I moved around with Av and them prior to my brother getting killed, so I already know what the energy was like, and it wasn't no, the only issues niggas had was with tax running his mouth, so no other camps out of New York was beefing with Av. So for that to happen, and him not to turn that over, you know, I'm still trying to understand what type of sense he could make out of that.
No, I got you. That shit nasty. I don't care what you talking about, man. Like that should have been turned over immediately. You no know, if and buts about it, real or fake or whatever it was. That should have been turned over. Yeah, then they've been putting up uh posts and pictures of Mayno what it appears to be the same chain. You know what I'm saying? He wearing the same chain. So, you know, it's them Jesus pieces. Like when people make them, is it possible that they can look the same or they try to make them unique? Man, Man, fuck all that. That's the same chain, man. Ain't no no, another chain. That's the same chain. That chain ain't coming. For sure, yeah, that, it is wild though, because he was saying all that about that chain and um, saying that chain garbage, and, and to see him in pictures, and in the whole music video, he then said something. He said something about the date was 2015, but did they saying it came from 2016? Like he was lying about that, but. I don't think um, Troy Ive, he really ain't spoke on it direct. He had put up the clips. I want to see what he got to say about it. I mean, what's there to say? He, the clips is the facts to it. And then that's for him to say. It is what it is. People did their homework and, and didn't see no photos prior to Urban Plaza. So he, it's up to Mano to produce something other than to show that, not just saying that. There's nothing to substantiate that you had any chain of that fashion prior to Urban Plaza. So six, you know, seven years is going to be on May 25th. So it's not even seven years yet. The anniversary is May, the death of Bangers, May 25th. And that's coming up. So um, there's nothing to substantiate, no proof, no nothing other than this. If he wouldn't have never spoke and burned that chain, nobody would have paid no attention to that. But Ab knew that chain was missing from the day it happened. And there's a host of person who gave him that chain i wouldn't even his original chain so that it's a fact that that chain was fake and that's that chain that's what i was about to say though and then uh oh boy he didn't even know mano had the chain until that video came out right no nah, the chain dude the, the, he went in with the chain and didn't come out with the chain so dude knew the chain was not on his neck at, at the night of urban plaza the dude that gave him the chain he spoke to him on the visit and dude's like, don't even worry about it. It's not even official. So he just let it go. No, I got that, Trey. Ago. I got that part, Trey. But I'm talking about like recently when Mano came out, you know, he took the shit out the ice tray, you know, flamboyant shit. He didn't know Mano had the chain though, right? He didn't nah, know. He know nah, I thought the chain was lost. Yeah, see, that's 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 spooky, bro. Why is you holding a nigga chain for if you ain't never have a problem with him? Just in case a situation like this. That makes no sense. Yeah, that don't that don't that don't sit well, bro. Um, I, I held it just in case I had to put you in your place. That don't sit well, bro. Yeah, that is wild. Like, I ain't gonna lie, that's wild. That's why I say if that was the case, which clearly it was, he mentioned it, right? But um, I don't think that he should have spoken on that chain. Like, oh, that shit was like that shit was bad work. You know, he could have said a whole lot of other stuff and like. That's another thing. So I had thought that Mayno, Mayno uh name was mentioned by Troy Yav during his testimony. And I had people been coming on my videos telling me that I should go look at your interview with, uh, I think it was Doggy Diamonds or something where you explained what had happened in that situation. Can you Can you explain that again, bro? Tax Stone Attorney was hit remember tax stones only defense throughout his whole trial was that troy ave shot the club up shot the venue up shot my brother shot himself that was his only defense so he spent the whole trial trying to throw reasonable doubt by mentioning other people that were there including casanova uncle murder and and including mano so it was the attorney who on cross-examination started asking Troy Ave questions and brought up Mano's name. And then Troy Ave said whatever he said in regards to Mano. 
he didn't just jump out on trial and say, yo, man of this and man of that. So it came from the attorney. Gotcha. Yeah, because people definitely was putting that on my comments. Like, no, you got it wrong on this part right here. You should go check out this, do some research. I was like, I'm dead. It's a lot of it's a lot of details to the case. I ain't really, you know, it ain't really come out yet. Uh, but you know, when you hear all the real, real facts of it, you people have better clarity. That's why I've been speaking on it more because it's been a lot of, you know, internet confusion about what the facts are. But that's that's just what it is. So when when I spoke to Av or whatever, Av is upset because he he said he asked me, you know, after he came out the green room, he saw a bang on the floor. To help, yo, he's like, yo, help pick him up, and, and Mano was like, nah, leave, leave that nigga right there. So, I've been holding on to that for, se- for you know, for several years. But was Mano wrong for opinion. saying that? Because what's up? Go ahead, bro. No, I was saying is Mano wrong for that because when somebody shot, you know, you're supposed to move. Yeah, but caught. As, according to uh, according to me, no, I spoke to him after after almost seven years, a couple of days ago, about his um his side. And he told me some stuff that I I speak about later, but um it's interesting. But he said that that was what he was pretty much saying, but he never said it. Av, and I spoke to Av about it. Av said that he never said. Don't pick him up because we don't know what he shot at. He just said, Av said, he just said, you know, don't pick that nigga up. So Av, in his years, has been having that in his mind that he was like, fuck your man type shit. So that's why he on the type of time he on. Yeah. I, I, I mean, he probably didn't. like, But... And he probably like, said the streets know that, though. You don't supposed to pick him up, let him sit there. You know what I'm saying? Because you move around, the bullet's going to travel. Yeah, I, I, you know I, I, mean? I, so, I hear that, bro. But in this scenario, I'm not jacking that, bro. You know what I'm saying? We in the, yeah. we talking about, we talking about a venue. We talking about, you know, the fact that you can't wait for no police at times. Sometimes you got to put your homie in that car and get to the hospital, bro. You ain't yeah. waiting for no, you know what I'm saying? Like, I hear that. You know what I'm saying? We understand that, but. You better you you got a better chance of you doing that versus leaving somebody there to die. My brother died right there on that floor. You know what I'm saying he was oh, laying there for too long, so he never made it to the hospital. So I now even weigh in my mind, you know, how if somebody would have just got him from off that floor and took him out and drove him to the hospital, would he have survived? Mm. Yeah, and that's what I was gonna ask. Like, damn, he could have survived if he probably would have made it to the hospital. Like you know what I mean, on time instead of bleeding out. According to the trial, he didn't go. He didn't go down. He didn't go down with the first shot. He he, he left sometime. He left the room sometime after the third or fourth shot. You see him running out the room, holding his chest, um, and then eventually falling down by the bar. And he was on the floor for uh, uh, uh for the rest of the melee while everybody's running back and forth. He was on the floor. The ad finally came out the room. He was on the floor, so he was on the floor for a good, a good several minutes without no type of, no type of help, no type of aid whatsoever. Hey, bro! Like in your opinion, though, what's been the the biggest thing that people had wrong, like since the um, case has started, like far as the trial? That's been on the internet. The biggest thing that they they ain't had wrong. Well, other than Av shot my brother, uh, just just the fact that niggas trying to, to you know people don't understand what's what energy is, man. And you know everybody want to make Av the aggressor because of what is being said. But um, from my perspective, the the the, the aggression came from tax. And the digression was before they even got to the venue, and some more details that I'll speak about later. Uh, uh, but um, Sun was definitely the aggressor, bro. Not Ab, but Tax. You gotta remember, aggression, aggression, aggression doesn't come with me swinging on you. Aggression is, you know, eighty percent of communication is nonverbal. 
So I don't need to, I don't need to say something is my actions. It's certain things that you do now creates that aggression. Like what make me question is like, okay, I don't think he picked the chain up, man. All right. I think he actually more. So it sounds like he probably might've yapped him prior to that. You know what I mean? Because how would you get a man chain? Or did he come in there with a chain? I gotta stop you right there, bro. They go to false the all the false fuckery that that get pushed out there. That's just your opinion. That's not facts, bro. Yeah. He did not he did not yap him in no shape, form, or fashion. That would have you'd have heard him going at it with Mano. He was you think he's just gonna yap him and that was that? Like that doesn't make any sense, bro. So how would he get the chain? That's why I'm, that's why I'm confused. That's why I'm like, yo, don't that's make sense. Could have been on the bro, floor. Bro, bro. That's why we the all man, the man the man was fighting. The man was in there fighting Tax Stone for the gun. He, he 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 in his in his testimony he detailed how he had to put his finger behind the trigger and he had to uh grab he was behind he had he horse collared him he had him from behind and he's hitting him at the top of the gun on the top of his head and the DA all uh, showed that Tax DNA was on the bottom the butt of the gun. What Av said he was hitting him with, and um, one of the people who testified against Tax, his friend, said that when he met Tax that night, Tax had bumps and shit on top of his head. So he fought for that gun. So you talking about a tussle for your life? Chain fell off, bro. Yeah, I just think it's weird that you see all that that violence going down. You hear gunshots, and you looking for somebody chain. I'm trying to make sure. My people, my loved ones, and, and me in a safe spot. You know what I mean? In a in a massacre like that. You get what I'm saying? So, so that's why it didn't make sense for me. This like it didn't make sense for me to hear like when he said, "Oh, I, I was looking around, I see his chain on the floor, I pick it up." Like you know what I mean? I'm, that's the last thing I'm thinking about is somebody's chain, especially you know what I'm saying. If like I considered him a friend at one point, you know what I mean? I definitely would have called him back that night, or or even like a month, like a weeks later, however. I haven't played that. I wouldn't have waited seven years to say I had his chain. You know what I'm saying? That's why certain stuff just don't make sense to me. But, you know, it ain't meant for me to make sense for me. You know what I mean? But it just didn't make sense. Like, you know what I mean? Somebody having a full, like, like a whole broad massacre shooting and you looking for somebody chain. I don't think he was looking for it. Uh, he was there. He might have saw it, picked it up, and just went on about his business and, at that point. You know what I mean? Like, he said he was one of the last people out the venue. Mm. Even then, I still <laughs> come on. We are the streets, though. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna say we took something from a crime scene. Like you know what I mean? Nah, bullshit. You see a big ass piece of gold on the floor. You think it's real, nigga? You snatch it, bro. I'm, I'm saying like maybe it's I'm somebody saying. that don't allegedly got money or nah, it's not whatever. It matter, but I'm not picking nothing up off no crime scene. Like somebody just had a shootout. Anybody know that? Scene yet, bro. Niggas ain't know where that chain came from. But if he knew it was Troy's, and at that time they wasn't beefing, why not just hit the nigga up the next day or the next night and just drop the shit off? Or just at least let the nigga know, yo, I got your shit, man. Come get it whenever you need it. You know what I mean? Bro, he knew who Chain that was, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can't, yeah. he, he said he knew who Chain was. It. He said he said it. And thing. Weird, bro. He said he knew. And the fact that you kept him for seven years is, is that shit is just that's some grimy shit. If that was supposed to be your man at the time. Yeah. Nah, that was his man, man. He, man, was close to um, Casanova and Tax doing them niggas, son. Yeah, but it was it was they did music together and all that, bro. It wasn't it was it was mutual respect, I mean, It wasn't none of that, I mean, They moved how they move, we moved how we move. I mean, I just happened to have fall fell back prior to this whole situation. But I was moving around, we was moving around New York out of state together, so I already know the energy. It wasn't none of that energy. It's a lot of dudes that move around men or that that's my guys that fuck with me as well. So it was never that type of energy, bro. So this shit is baffling.